Simple steps to write bootloader for microcontrollers. 1. The microcontroller manufacturer or the chip or compiler support vendor will be providing you a startup file. S. 2. Locate reset underscore handler in this startup file. This reset underscore handler could differ in naming convention. 3. For STM32F, it looks exactly like this one. 4. The reset underscore handler is in the second entry of the interrupt vector table, IVT. This may differ completely in other startup files. Understand memory map. 1. You must have clear understanding of the memory map and reserve memory blocks for the bootloader, application firmware, firmware image, required only for firmware update, and boot flag. 2. For STM, it starts 0 by 0800000 and ends at 0 by 8015000. Memory address beyond this is reserved for STM radio stack, STM bootloader, etc. 3. Each entry in the interrupt vector table is 4 bytes. Hence for STM32 microcontrollers, the reset underscore handler of the application firmware must be at 0 by 0800404 as per the startup file. Final steps. Write the bootloader C code that we discussed as per design. 1. On power on reset or power cycle or controller reset or watchdog reset. This bootloader code will be executed. 2. It checks if there is a new firmware update required based on signature set by the application firmware. 3. It sets function pointer to the reset underscore handler of the application firmware. 4. It sets the main stack pointer, MSP using the function underscore set underscore MSP. 5. Calls the reset underscore handler to start the application firmware. I hope this video was helpful. It's indeed a good starting point for the beginners and professionals. Please like the video and subscribe for updates. Thank you for watching.